carcinoma of cervix. It's a preventable cause and uh, it needs help, education, screening program. The risk factors which include uh, for carcinoma of cervix include uh, early age of sexual intercourse, repeated frequent births, multiple partners, and HPV infection, especially subtype 16 and 18. And low socioeconomic status can also give rise to carcinoma of cervix. Other important causes is smoking, which can also lead to various other cancers apart from carcinoma of cervix, also can cause coronary artery disease. So according to site uh, in ecto cervix it's around 80 percent in the cervix is 20 percent the gross lesions include occurred or proliferative fibril growth ulcerative which erodes the cervix to form an irregular crater infiltrative uh, expands the cervix histopathology includes the squamous cell carcinoma 80 to 90 percent large cell keratinizing type, large cell non-keratinizing type, small cell type. It could be adenocarcinoma into 10 to 20 percent of the women. It could be endocervical, clear cell or adenosquamous or adenoacanthoma. The spread could be direct to vagina, to uterus, perimetrium, lymphatics, primary nodes, involved could be obturator, internal or external iliac or it could go to sectoral. The secondary nodes could be common iliac and paraaortic, inguinal. Hematogenous spread leads to lungs, liver, bone. Staging is done by clinical assessment investigations are cystoscopy, proctoscopy, intravenous urography to see the involvement of the ureter, x-ray chest to see lung involvement, ultrasound, CT and MRI. Pre-invasive carcinoma stage 0 is called as carcinoma in situ, not to be included in therapeutic statistics. Stage 1 carcinoma confined to cervix, extension to corpus should uh, be disregarded. Stage 1a invasive carcinoma diagnosed only by microscopy. 1a minim minimal microscopic stromal invasion, maximal death of 3 mm from the basement membrane. 1a microscopic stromal invasion 3 mm from the basement membrane but less than 5 mm. Maximum horizontal spread is less than 5 mm. Larger lesions should be staged as 1B. Stage 1B is invasive carcinoma confined to the cervix greater than uh, 1A, whether seen clinically or not. 1B1 is preclinical lesion greater than uh, 1A or clinical lesions not exceeding 4 cm in size. Stage 1 be clinical lesions of more than 4 cm in size. Stage 2 the carcinoma extends beyond the cervix and uterus but not to the lateral pelvic wall or to the lower one third of vagina. Stage 2a no obvious parametrial involvement. Stage 2b obvious parametrial involvement. Stage 3 the carcinoma extends to the lateral pelvic wall or to the lower one third of vagina or causes hydronephrosis or non-functioning kidney. Stage 3a, the carcinoma involves the lower one third of the vagina, no extension into the lateral pelvic wall. Stage 3b, the carcinoma extends to the lateral pelvic wall or causes hydronephrosis or non-functioning kidney. Stage 4, the carcinoma extends beyond the true pelvis or has clinically involved the mucosa of the bladder or rectum and its biopsy proven. A bullous edema of the bladder rectal mucosa as such does not permit a case to be allotted to stage 4. Stage 4a 
spread of carcinoma to adjacent organs. Stage 4b spread of carcinoma to the distant organs. The preclinical stages are asymptomatic detected on screening. If microinvasion is detected on targeted biopsy or endocervical curatage, a colonization, uh, a colonization of the cervix is mandatory to exclude the presence of invasive carcinoma. The clinical stages, uh, there is abnormal bleeding, especially post-coital, intermenstrual, post-menopausal, abnormal discharge, which could be blood-stained, dirty, foul-smelling, and late symptoms could include pelvic pain and urinary symptoms. There could be rectal symptoms. Signs, abnormal area of growth on cervix, uh, there could be induration, friability, and bleeding to touch. It could be hard and fixed, and confirmation of diagnosis is done by the histopathological examination. Differential diagnosis could be the fibroid polyp, chronic invasion of the uterus, cervical tuberculosis, cervical ectopregnancy. Complications uh, that can occur are pyometra, hemorrhage, pyelonephritis, zygovaginal fistula, uremia, retinal fistula. Prognosis depends on the staging, histologic type, differentiation, tumor volume, lymph involvement. Cause of death is usually due to uremia, due to obstruction of the ureters, hemorrhage, sepsis. Prevention is done by health education, avoid early miscarriage, avoid early intercourse, avoid uh, promiscuity, proper hygiene, use of uh, barrier contraception. Screening programs, screening for a pre-malignant lesion, screening for early diagnosis. To confirm the diagnosis, we need to do the biopsy from the growth or the abnormal area. Direct biopsy is very of the very early lesion or we can do the cone biopsy. For the staging, it's intravenous urography to see the obstruction of ureter, abdominal ultrasonography which will uh, highlight the hydroureter, cystoscopy for uh, bladder involvement, proctosigmoidoscopy for rectal involvement. Examination under anesthesia will give the highlight of uh, fixity, CT M MRI for the local invasion and distant invasion and extent of the disease. Baseline investigation obviously for the general uh, health of, of the patient. Treatment depends on the age stage uh, of the patient, general condition, tumor configuration, Modalities that can be offered including surgery, radiotherapy, combined uh, chemoradiation. Curative surgery can be performed by cancer cervix up to stage 2a. Surgery is preferred in young patients, patients with prolapse, patients with uteri distorted with fibroids, coexisting pathology, stage 1a disease. Conization may be both diagnostic and therapeutic, which can take out the tumor and give uh, the patient a disease-free state. Simple extrafacial hysterectomy can be done. Stage 1a disease to 2a disease uh, we can do worthens or makes hysterectomy, extended hysterectomy with pelvic limb adenectomy, uterus included cervix, adnexia, ovaries uh, is spared in young wide dissection of the parametrium, removal of the vaginal cuff and dissection of the periureteral tissues, pelvic lymph adenectomy, stage 4a disease uh, eccentric, advantages, preservation of the ovarian function, preservation of the vaginal function, lesser long-term morbidity, complications are correctable, Complication that can arise after surgery is hemorrhage, infection, uh, lymph lymphosis formation, ureteric injury or fistula formation, which could be traumatic or ischemic, or there could be bladder or ureter injury and neurogenic bladder dysfunction. 
Advantages of radiotherapy include applicable to all stages of disease, as effective as surgery in early stages, lesser primary mortality and immediate morbidity as compared to surgery, preferred in patients unfit for surgery because of medical conditions or extreme obesity. Techniques could include brachytherapy and therapy. Brachytherapy, the radiation source placed adjacent to the tumor by means of intrauterine tendons and vaginal colpostats. Inverse square law, the dose of radiation at any given point is inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the source of radiation. The dose disease rapidly decreases rapidly as the distance from the applicator increases. Personal protected after loading techniques. Computerized uh, dosimetry plots isodose curves by taking into account the tumor geometry and the placement of the radiation sources. Brachytherapy helps in achieving central control of the tumor. Point A It is a paracervical area located 2 cm lateral to the cervical canal and 2 cm above the external os. It corresponds to the crossing of the ureters under the uterine artery. Adequate summary dose to point A to achieve the central control of the tumor is uh, 7500 to 8500 grays. Point B located 3 cm la lateral to the point A on the same horizontal plane corresponds to the site of operator lymph node on the lateral pelvic wall. The prescribed dose to the point B is 4 uh, 1500 to 6000 grays depending upon the bulk of the parametrial and side wall disease. Low dose radiation Paris technique 1 application for 120 hours Manchester technique 2 applications 72 hours repeat after 7 days Stockholm technique 3 applications 24 hours each at weekly intervals. High dose radiation Five fractions of 700 grays each to a point of a day. Radiation is directed towards the tumor tissue from external sources like cobalt 60, cesium 137, or leading accelerators. High dose is 900 grays a week in five fractions up to 180 each given with or without central shielding. Teletherapy is usually given by a parallel opposing fields of multiple external fields to decrease the damage to control the normal tissue. Complications of radiotherapy, it damages adjacent normal pelvic tissues, radiation to the adjacent to the malignant cell. Ideal radiation treatment aims to achieve the dedicated balance between the complete tumor kill without exceeding the tolerance dose for the normal tissues. The dose limiting tissues within the pelvis are rectum, bladder and any loops of a small intestine within the radiation field. Because uh, irradiating the intestine could, could uh, cause the radiation damage and can lead to obstruction later on. The radiation dose to the bladder and rectum should be kept less than 6000. Radiation effects can be immediate or delayed. Immediate effects are inflammation and ulceration. Delayed effects may appear after months or years. Delayed effects are due to ischemic and arthritis and this may are, these effects are progressive, irreversible and dose dependent. Vagina, bladder and rectum are affected with fibrosis, stricture, vasculitis and fistula formation. The combined uh, surgery and radiotherapy has a minimal role except for bulky endophytic lesion stage 1, B, 2 or 2A. Long term survival is not improved using the combined radiotherapy and surgery. Complication of combined radiotherapy and surgery are high. Adjuvant chemotherapy, this cisplastin containing uh, cisplastin initially used as adjuvant to improve the result of radiotherapy to shrink tumor size before surgery. That's a new adjuvant and the radiotherapy is now combined with adjuvant cisplastin chemotherapy and chemo radiation protocol. So the survival five for five year uh, stage one is 85%, stage two 55, stage three 
38% stage 4 is 15%. Thank you.